peace. No justice. No peace. Justice. For Trayvon. Trayvon. Justice. Justice. For Trayvon. Trayvon. First of all, give yourselves a hand, everybody. Give yourselves a hand for being here this afternoon. And while you're clapping, give the organizers a hand. Barbara Fair and all the students from Yale and Southern and, and Quinnipiac and Gateway and high school students that are here from New Haven. Come on, sister. We'll be very brief. We are here to demand justice for Trayvon Martin. But let's be very clear, as Barbara Fair just indicated. We're also here to demand an end to racial profiling in Connecticut and an end to the gun violence, the gun violence that's killing so many of our young people in the streets of New Haven and Hartford and Bridgeport and Waterbury and Stanford. Let's be clear, give, you, give, you, give a hand clap for that. Because we can't talk about Trayvon unless we talk about the 34 young men and women who were shot down the streets of New Haven a year ago, the two that have been shot down thus far this year, the eight that have been killed in Bridgeport thus far, and who knows in Waterbury and Hartford and other places. They're all connected. We gotta find a way to end the gun violence. We gotta find a way. Now on the point about racial profiling, quickly, Gary Holder Winfield, Representative Gary Holder Winfield. Gary, raise your hand, let people see you. Give him a hand, he has been the force right here in New Haven. He has been the force to put some teeth in the racial profiling law that impacts on most folk in the gathered to here today. Black, brown, male, female, no matter what your ethnicity or nationality might be, putting his teeth in our Connecticut's racial profiling law is important, just as if not more important than what's going on in Sanford, Florida right now today. So let's be clear, and then Gary will tell you this when he comes up here, he needs just as much energy as you demonstrated here today. On the, and in Hartford, and the streets of New Haven, and, Hart, and Bridgeport, and Waterbury, when this bill comes for passage uh, very soon. So please understand, the racial profiling is not just in Sanford, Florida. It's in the streets of New Haven, and Hartford, and Bridgeport, and Waterbury, throughout the state of Connecticut. Let's be very clear. The great Frederick Douglass said these words, and I commend this to the young people. Jimmy Griffin and I would come in when we were walking over here that we've been marching for social justice and racial justice before most of y'all were born. And so what that says to us and says to you, you have to commit yourselves right now, this very day, this is a lifelong struggle. We wish you were otherwise, but the truth is what it is. Commit yourselves right now. This issue ain't going away. It didn't start with Trayvon Martin, it ain't gonna end with Trayvon Martin. So be very clear, commit yourselves right now, young people, from Yale, from Southern, from the streets of New Haven, that this is a lifelong commitment. As Frederick Douglass said, if there is no struggle, there will be no progress. If there is no struggle, there will be no progress, because young people remember this, always remember this, power concedes nothing. Without a demand, it never has, and it never will. So commit yourselves right now to demand justice for Trayvon Martin, but also dare to demand an end to racial profiling in Connecticut, dare to end, dare to demand an end to gun violence in the streets of New Haven and Hartford and Bridgeport and Waterbury. No struggle, no peace. No struggle, no, peace. <laughs> no struggle, no progress. No struggle, no struggle, no struggle, no struggle. God bless you all and thank you so much for being here. Dare to struggle, dare to win.